is a big fish. What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. So I'm here in New Jersey and we are targeting bowfin today. This is actually my first fishing video since I've been back from my deployment from New York City. I'm with the Navy Reserves and I am now back in the States with my family and um, able to get away for a few hours today uh, to fish and not doing carp like I typically do. And I really wanted to try to catch some bowfin. I usually try to catch them a few times a year. Um, and this is one of the spots that I go to to catch them. So we might be bouncing around from a different, for we might be bouncing around different spots today, but I just want to go to a spot where I know there's some bowfin in here and then we might explore a little bit. So the purpose of today's video is really just to show you how I catch bowfin and some locations and spots you can try out um, to catch bowfin. So we're gonna be using two rods and so might get a little noisy at times because we're near a bridge and there's a lot of cars, a lot of traffic going through. But anyways, um, a lot of people catch bowfin when they're bass fishing. So you can use pretty much the same setup you use when you bass fish. Um, for bowfin that is, you can use the same setup. But for me, I like using at least a 10, 10 pound main test, 10 to 15 pound main test. Um, Carolina rig style is how I like to do it. Um, and this is kind of like a modified version I've been using um, for my uh, for catching bowfin essentially. So we're using kind of a light setup. This is, I think, a uh, 12 pound main test uh, down to a, I think this is like a half an ounce. Uh, this is like a bullet sinker here down to a swivel, down to a one aught kale hook essentially. And this is pretty much all you need uh, for catching bowfin. Pretty straightforward. Um, with my bowfin, I like using, this is the other rod you can see here, similar setup. One aught kale hook is all you need. Between one aught to three aught, it's kind of what you're looking for, especially if you're using cut bait, which is what we're gonna be using today. And this is my favorite bait to use when catching bowfin. So I have a few bluegill, and I also have a creek chub, which I got lucky to catch. This is the first rod, so I'm actually going to use the head as part of the bait as well. And we're just going to kind of hook it just like that, essentially. Make sure the scales are off the hook. Like I said, there's there's different ways, different rigs you use for bowfin. This is just what I like to use because it's simple, it's easy, and it's effective. Caught in lots of bowfin on this specific setup. I'll leave a link in the description of the setup that I'm using in case you guys are curious to try this. So I think we kind of, so we're all rigged up here and I hope you guys kind of understand how I'm doing this. And as far as location goes, um, when you're trying to find bowfin, you want to go to an area where you know where there's bowfin, uh, either through fishing reports or hearing through people or from people. Um, that there's both in here and you can look right in front of me here. This is has a lot of vegetation has a lot of weeded pads uh, plants um, Which is what both in like they like stuff like this and of course hot weather as we are in mid-june now and You can see it kind of looks kind of swampy kind of moddy uh, mossy that is um, too so bowfin like that so where you find bass you're probably going to find bowfin as well so a lot of bass here and um, so all right so we're going to cast these out I'm, I put these rods over here a little way from the from the road. Pretty shallow through here. 
but uh that's what you need when catching both in shallow areas at least in my opinion for my success this is what i like put this one right over here all right so just letting these rods just kind of sit on the bottom uh just like this here and Hopefully we can get some bowfin for you guys. Bowfin, I've had a, with my hookup ratios, it's been very, uh, it's like 50-50. Bowfin can be a little tricky to catch. Um, they're, they have extreme head, head shakes and uh, tossing out the hook, shaking the hook off. Uh, we'll take it, drop it, that kind of thing. So the, um, setting the hook can be a little bit difficult. Um, so like that seemed like it may have been a bowfin and it just ended up just dropping the bait so maybe it'll come back for it Fish on. Small one, but yep, it's a bowfin. Or it's a bass. It's a bass. On cut bait. <laughs> right on the cut bait. And he is, he inhaled that thing. All right, guys, first fish is a about a pound, a pound of a large mouse. Gonna release him. There he goes. There's something here. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, he came off. He came off. Ugh. That was on the head too. Let me re-rig that one. There was something on there though. Ah, shoot. So no bowfin yet. So I actually put out a third rod um, with the bait runner on here just to see if I can get more bites. Uh, same setup essentially using the cut bait. And I recasted both of these out. So hoping as it gets maybe a little bit warmer, that might help. Um, so, we will see though. Now we got three rods out, hopefully that'll kind of help our chances. Um, I know they're in here, so we just have to give it more time. We have missed some fish too, um, which bowfin, as I said, are tricky to catch. They're elusive and difficult at times, so. We may bounce around to a different spot, but it'd be nice to get a booth in here before we move on. The Sean. That's a bowfin. Very, very small, but we caught our first one. Beautiful. Very small bowfin, but this will, this will work. All right, beautiful fish. 
small first one of the day. Let's release this one. There he goes. This is a big fish. to be careful with this because this is really light line. big one. These head jerks are powerful. Oh, this is a really long bowfin. This is a big one. This is a big one. Uh, this is only like eight pound test on this line, 10 pound test maybe. trophy size for sure holy moly this is pushing 25 inches look at this one beautiful fish beautiful we're gonna get a weight and a length on this one We're gonna release this bowfin. It's almost a trophy size. It has to be 25 inches and... Oh no. We're gonna release this one. And there he goes. Oh man, we were getting a run on this one. This one was getting tore up. Fish on. We did have a fish on. Oh, it's a crab. I mean, I'm sorry, it's a turtle. He's scared. Let's see. That's all right. Let's get it back out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
another bow fin on. Holy moly. He's really, really upset with me. Got it. There he goes. That's the third one. All right, guys, we're going to call it quits for the day. We were out for a few hours. We caught a total of four fish, three bowfin, and one largemouth bass, all on cut bait. And we were using cut bluegill and a cut creek chum as our bait today. As you can see, you know, this strategy does work for catching bowfin. Um, catching bowfin is tough. Uh, you know, they're really hard to hook um, just based on their, their mouth structure and um, the teeth and all that. It can kind of make it tough to really hook, but we did catch a pretty nice one today. Uh, almost trophy size. It was a half inch short, uh, 24 and a half inches. And um, so I encourage you guys to check out areas just like this around your area. See if there's bowfin in them. Um, and as you can see, this is a very, uh, very nice area for bowfin. There's a lot of, a lot of vegetation, a lot of moss, um, a lot of branches, debris, uh, plant debris that is, and just a lot of vegetation. There's probably some carp in here too, I'm sure. But um, these narrow tributaries are very good for bowfin. And um, so we're going to do a series of bowfin videos coming up and we're going to be checking out different areas uh, each time and uh, probably switching up our bait too. We'll probably try some minnows as well and experiment a little bit. The bowfin fishing is not really sought after a whole lot, but in my opinion, they're one of the fresh, in my opinion, they're one of the best freshwater fighting fish for its size. Um, I think they fight harder than largemouth bass and um, and all that. So I appreciate it guys. We'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care.